Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. We should be uh, up and away in a few moments with our coverage, which I'm sure will be a fascinating game. There is an added sense of drama provided by the elements, actually. The rain has once more decided to appear at this most inopportune of moments, and it is heavy rain. It does not dampen the atmosphere. The turnout here is good. The noise is very good. It remains colourful, but it could be a problem for the players because the pitch might very quickly turn heavy. We'll see as it all plays out over the next couple of hours here. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. The information we've been given is that they're going to go with a 3-5-2. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter-attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing-backs and potentially two runners from central midfield. You can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own. And already we're underway here. Plays it out to the wing. Whipped in. Keeper has beaten it away. And that has been cleared. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. He's had a shot! It's broken loose. Cross up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, if you give him something to attack in the air, he's most likely to, to get there. It's what he does best. Maggio. It's a clever pass. Defence has got rid of that. It is deadlocked. Plays it over to the other flank. and goes back. Goes for goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Floats one over, done very well to intervene. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's onside! So who's he picking out? Towering header! And it's played forward. Maggio, Maggio plays it forward, and that's been leave it clear. Oh, good interception. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run.
Out to the left it goes. Petamai. No goals as yet. Half time getting close now. Great challenge, time to perfection. Gets the better of his man. And he's on a charge. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And the first half is done. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. That's the first half compared with your expectation. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. Just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Bertone playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. And it's Hetemai. Kings it out wide. Benevento given another corner. Defending of the desperate variety. It's found its way to him. Goal is still, the other side really getting onto the front foot. He's got it on the right now, what's on? And the keeper's in command. <laughs> Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Lovely bit of skill. Played into space out wide. That's the throw. Time for a change in personnel. Oh, that's neat. Time to deliver. Aimed in towards the centre. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Just brushed off the ball there. Petamai. Great strength, too strong for his opponent.
Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Really poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave, and I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. Lovely bit of skill there. That's great strength on the ball. Knocks it away. Forward it goes. Breaks on here. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's, it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Hoists it forward. And he just whacks it away. And that's it. And it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. It's goals. Your final thoughts, Jim? 